welcome to Glow Restore. In this 45 minute class, we will hold our shapes for extra long for maximum muscle release. For this practice, you do need two yoga blocks or you can sub a large pillow. When you are ready to go, I will meet you back on the mat. For this practice, let's start laying on our mat. Slide your blocks back with you. So walking your feet out, coming to a Shavasana shape to start. Turning the palms to face up, closing your eyes down. Starting with a few deep breaths here. Let's clear the first one together. So taking a big breath into your belly, feeling it expand. And on your exhale, take a big sigh, let it go. And then finding the natural rhythm of your breath. So letting the breath flow in and out. And as you breathe, checking in with the quality of your breath. Checking in with the quality of your thoughts. And checking in with how your body feels right now in this moment. So feeling the ground supporting you. And knowing that we'll be holding shapes a little bit longer today in this class. Starting to get comfortable with being here, being present. Gently guiding the mind back to the moment that we are in right now. Each time it starts to wander off. Taking one more full cycle of breath here. And then sweeping your arms up overhead, opening your eyes. Take your left hand onto your right wrist and then walk your right foot over, cross it over your left. Slide your hands over towards the left, making a big C in your body, stretching your right side. Letting your head be heavy, your face be soft. Feeling this stretch through the whole side body on the right. And then moving through center, switching sides, uncrossing the leg, switching the grip on the arms, walking your left leg over, crossing it over your right, finding a big side stretch. Big breath in, feel that length in your left side body. And sink into the stretch a little bit deeper on your breath out. And then walking back through center, release the grip. Just take a full body stretch. Spread the fingers, point the toes. Let the belly puff up with air on your inhale. And exhale. Melt back into the mat. From here, bend the knees, feet come down, slide your hands towards your sides. We're gonna push up into a bridge, press the heels into the mat, tuck the chin in towards the chest, and then just lower back down nice and slow. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. Last one like that, inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. Now knocking the knees in towards each other, take your feet to the edges of the mat so they're super wide. This should support your spine. Arms can be by the sides, palms can turn up. Just finding a breath or two here. And then from here, drawing your hands to the back of your thighs, pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. And then rock and roll a few times up to a seat, giving your spine a little massage. 
Coming to that seat, now grabbing your blocks, let's take a supported back bend. So your first block is going to be towards the back of the mat. Your head will rest on it. Your second block will be about six inches behind that so that your thoracic spine, your shoulder blades can rest on that. Your head block can be at the lowest setting or it can be at a middle setting. I like it at the middle setting. So laying back onto your block, you can hold the edges of the block as you lay back, lining the end of the block in line with the bottoms of your shoulder blades. Now laying back over that block, taking your head onto the top block and letting it rest. So if you don't have two blocks, you can lay a large pillow behind you and lay on that. We're just looking for a little bit of elevation in the torso, in the heart. So letting the shoulders fall down. Arms come by the sides, palms face up. And then once again, walk the feet wide, pull the knees in towards each other. Close the eyes back down. We'll be here for five full cycles of breath. So settling in here. Taking deep breaths into the belly and exhaling big breaths out of the mouth. Softening your face, your jaw, your forehead. Letting your heart open up towards the sky. Feeling your low back supported. And if at any point in this class we're holding a shape and it starts to not feel good in the body, any sharp pains, any clicking, know that you can readjust. But if it's just that stretching sensation, so like that deep burn, can you have yourself stay, allow yourself to stay, and experience whatever sensations you are moving through. So a lot of times we hold emotions, energies deep in the muscles. So when we do deep releases, they all come up and they work themselves out of the muscles through that deep burning sensation. Knowing that it will pass, that everything is temporary. One last cycle of breath here. Big breath in. And out. To come out of it, palms face down, push into the elbows, lifting up. Feet are in front of you still. Grab your blocks and slide them out of the way. Let's take a gentle forward fold. So knees stay bent, toes turn back towards you, lift the arms to the sky, engage the core, keep this length, breathe in, and exhale, fold over your bent legs, drop your head. So you should immediately feel that in your low back, those big muscles along the spine, your erectors. Option here to inch by inch straighten the legs, letting the crown of the head Descend down, the tailbone reaching up towards the sky, and taking deep breaths. Keeping bent knees here, so not going into your full expression of this, even if you can. And then when you're ready, slowly rolling back up. You can take hold behind your thighs, cross your ankles, coming to a tabletop. We'll take a couple cat cows. On your inhale, drop your belly. Lift your tailbone, lift your chest. Exhale, tuck round, push into the hands as you arch your upper back. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Let's do two more like that. Inhale. And exhale. 
Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, coming through center. Exhale, child's pose. Melt the hips back towards the heels. Stretch the arms forward. From here, slide the palms together in front of you. Bend at the elbows. Take the hands behind the back of the neck. You can inch the elbows forward. Another step. Feeling this stretch through the triceps, into the lats, the side bodies. Pressing the palms together. And then slowly releasing the hands back down. Coming back to that tabletop, let's take a couple big circles here. So hips going to the right, forward, to the left, and back. So we're warming up through the wrists as well as the hips. And then switch the direction of those circles. Beautiful, coming to neutral, tabletop. Slide the knees back, come all the way down to the belly. Take the arms out to a T. From here, bend into your right knee, and then we're gonna go over onto the left side, take the right foot behind us, and come into a chest stretch on the left. So your left palm faces down, your right foot is on the ground, you can roll all the way over onto your left side if that feels okay in the front of your left arm and chest. Option here to lift your right arm to the sky and thread it behind you into your left hip crease. External rotation in the right shoulder. Take a full breath in and out. Stay for two more breaths. Maybe you need to walk the head forward a little bit. Make sure you feel comfortable. And when you're re ready, slowly reach the right arm up, place it back down, and then roll back onto your belly. We'll switch it out, left knee bends. Take the left foot behind you over towards the right, stepping the foot down. You can stay here with the left hand on the floor or lifting the left arm around threading it into your right hip crease. Drawing your left shoulder back, feeling this stretch through the front of the right arm and chest. One more cycle of breath here. And then slowly release, left arm down. Left knee comes back down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Inhale, cobra. Elbows by the sides. And then exhale, lower back down. Two more like that. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, lowering. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now walk your elbows in front of you. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, lift the knees, and then isometrically pull the elbows back, Sphinx Pose. Draw the shoulders down, feeling the stretch through the belly, opening up through the heart, taking a full breath in, and a full breath out. And then slowly releasing, coming down, forehead onto the hands for a moment. Take a breath in and a breath out. From here, slide your hands underneath your shoulders, push back to a child's pose. Take a moment here, reach the arms forward, feel that stretch underneath the armpits. Let the head melt down. Take a big breath in and out. Next inhale, find a tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, first down dog, hips high. Spread your fingers, bend into the knees one at a time or both at the same time. Working into the legs, 
checking in as always how do you feel coming to a still place walk your hands back to your feet so that you're at the back of the mat heel toe your feet hips width bend the knees a lot here and then drop your head find a rag doll elbows holding opposite elbows in the hands knees super bent so that you're resting your torso on your thighs the whole time maybe shake the head out swaying again noticing the sensations coming up in the body as well as in the mind throughout class Coming to a still place, releasing the hands back down towards the floor. Walk yourself back out into a downward facing dog. Spreading the fingers, spreading the toes. Now inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, take baby steps to the top of your mat. Finding a halfway lift when you arrive, breathe in. And fold forward on your exhale. All right, we're going to hold a forward fold. So grab your blocks. So similar to what we just did, but we're going to use the blocks to rest the hands on. So blocks of the highest setting. Knees are bent to start. Drop your head in between the blocks. So you're holding onto the blocks, letting some of the weight from your upper body rest on them. Maybe your forearms can come down to the blocks. And letting your head drop, bending your knees a lot. And thinking about taking the tailbone up to the sky, that will lengthen your hamstrings even more. Now picking up your toes, spreading them out, and then one at a time, placing them back down on the earth. Rooting down through all four corners of your feet. So when we hold these stretches for a little bit longer, we're allowing our muscles to override that safeguard. So the muscles protect each other by contracting. The agonist and antagonist muscles work together. So in this case, our quads and our hamstrings in order for our hamstrings to fully release, we have to be contracting our quads. So drawing your knees up. And then allow yourself to relax into this stretch. So softening your face. Letting your body know that it is okay to be here and that it's safe in this stretch. Taking one more cycle of breath here. When you're ready, keep the blocks at the top two corners of your mat. Release the hands down and then roll up to stand really slow, really controlled. Use an inhale breath to get up. Sweep the arms up at the top. And then hands just through the heart center. Close the eyes. Take a moment to ground. Big breath in. And big breath out. Next inhale, gaze up as you sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway lift, draw your fingers to your shins. Place your hands on your blocks and then step your left foot back so that you're in a lunge. Left knee stays lifted to start. You can walk your blocks back underneath your shoulders. Take a breath in. On your exhale, gently push your hips back straight in your right leg a bit. Next inhale, draw forward. And exhale, push back. Last one like that. Inhale forward. And exhale, press back. Beautiful. Inhale forward. Left knee comes down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, leave the blocks. Arms reach up to the sky. 
Exhale, open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Spread your fingers and reach the fingertips away from each other. Breathe in. On your exhale, melt your right hand down to the back of your left thigh. Sweep your left arm by your ear. Feel the stretch in the front side of the left leg. And then slowly releasing, cartwheel the hands back down to the blocks. Straighten your right leg, half splits, walk the blocks back with you. They can be underneath the shoulders on the highest setting. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can play with the setting of the blocks. Flex the right toes, find a halfway lift. And then fold over your right leg, drop your head. So crown of the head reaching forward. Hands are resting on your blocks. Your left knee is supporting you. Your hips are square. Right hip pulling back, left hip pulling forward. And finding two more cycles of breath here. Again, contracting the front of the right leg so that the back of the leg can stretch. And then when you're ready, slowly lifting back up, taking the blocks with you, placing them forward, and then holding this lunge for a few moments, hands on the blocks, and then really press your hips forward. Feel this open the inside of the legs, the front of the left hip, right knee is bent, hands are supported on your blocks. Holding here for two cycles of breath. Chest is broad, shoulder blades are drawing back. Gaze is softly forward. Tapping into your breath. Beautiful, from here, come out of that stretch a little bit, tuck the back toes lift the left knee, and then little hop forward to a, a forward fold in between your blocks. Find a halfway lift, use your blocks, and then exhale, fold right back down. Feel the difference between the sides. And now we're gonna step back with the right foot, keeping the knee lifted, gaze forward, breathe in. Push the hips back as you breathe out straight in your left leg. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. Next inhale, draw forward, left knee bends. Take the right knee down onto the ground, toes stay tucked, leave the blocks, lift into a low lunge. Exhale, part the arms, right hand forward, left hand back. Take a breath in and spread the fingers, reach them away from each other. On your exhale, left hand down to the back of your right thigh, sweep your right arm by your ear. Take a big breath in. And out. Slowly releasing, hands down to your blocks. Exhale to push your hips back, half splits, walk your hands back with you. All right, so you have the blocks. You can put them on this setting or a lower setting, whatever feels good in your body. Flexing the left toes back, reaching the crown of the head forward. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. And a deep fold over your left leg, drop your head. So again, your hips are square. Your right hip is drawing forward just a bit. Left hip is pulling back. Contracting through the front of the left leg so that the back of the leg has space to stretch. Noticing if you're clenching the jaw. And if so, release it. 
finding an effortless ease. One more full cycle of breath. Beautiful. And then your next inhale, start to walk back forward. Bring your blocks with you. And then just holding this low lunge shape. Use the blocks to put some weight into them and dropping your right hip down, feeling that stretch in the front of the leg. Your left knee is bent. Your chest is broad. Your gaze is forward. Just taking a couple moments here to enjoy this stretch. And then when you're ready, come out of the stretch just a bit. Lift the right knee. Hop the right foot back forward. Forward fold with the blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep the blocks. And exhale, right back down. This time, slide your blocks just a little bit out of the way. Plant your hands down. Step back to a high plank, then drop the knees. Find a child's pose. Hips go back towards the heels. On your next inhale, ripple the spine up to a cat pose. On your exhale, drop your belly cow pose. And then send your hips back towards your heels. Child's pose. One more like that, coming forward. Inhale, rounding the spine. Exhale, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone, and push the hips back towards the heels. Coming forward to just a regular tabletop, tuck the toes and your hips high, downward facing dog. Take a full cycle of breath here. And then inhale to straighten the right leg up to the sky. Exhale to step your right foot in between your hands. Come down on your left knee. This time, heel toe your right foot out towards the right. Grab your blocks. We're in a lizard pose. So blocks can be at the highest setting or down on a lower setting. Come down onto the forearms, perhaps, if that feels good in your body. You go with your breath on your level. And you stay here, dropping the head down. Taking the right knee out towards the right. The rule of thumb here is to point your toes in the same line as your knee. So if you feel your knee moving way out to the right, just turn your toes to match it. Again, sending your left hip down, front of the thigh down, feel that stretch there. Coming back to a softness in the face. Maybe closing the eyes down. Finding deep breaths. Taking one more full cycle of breath here. And then pressing back onto the hands. Heel towing your right foot in towards the center. Grab the blocks. Back to that half split. Straighten your right leg. Walk the blocks back with you. Just one cycle of breath here as a transition. Folding. Noticing if this one feels different than the first one. And then walking it back forward. Right foot plants. Blocks walk forward. Heel toe your right foot out towards the left. Right into a pigeon pose. Walking the blocks back. Inhale to lift the chest. Exhale. Forearms can come down on the blocks. 
or you can take the blocks, stacking them on top of each other, and then rest the forehead onto the blocks. Elbows go by the sides. So letting the head rest. Reaching the left toes back. Feeling the stretch through the right hip. Continuing to deepen your breath here. We'll hang out here for five more full cycles of breath. So relaxing into this shape and allowing yourself to be fully present in your body right now. So when we hold shapes for a little bit longer, our mind tends to want to wander off. So just gently reminding it to come back to this moment, knowing that everything on your to-do list, your work schedule, what you have planned for dinner, all of those things will be waiting for you when you step off of your mat. So really committing to giving yourself the time here to just be. One more full breath. Inhale. And exhale. On your inhale, pressing up onto your hands. Now we're gonna sweep the left leg forward towards the front of the mat, taking the right foot to the inside of the left leg. Left hand is going to reach down onto the left shin. Elbow meets the knee, maybe. If you want a little bit deeper, you can take the elbow inside of the left shin. Sweep the right arm to the sky. And then arch over, reaching right fingers to left toes. Maybe they connect. Maybe not, and that's okay. This should feel really good through the side body, into the back, into the right hip. So drawing your right hip down, leaning back into this stretch, opening your heart to the sky. Taking a full breath in and full breath out. From here, inhaling to come back up, turn even more towards your left leg. Take the blocks on either side of your knee. Hands on the blocks, isometrically draw the chest forward and start to fold over your leg. So this can be a good setting. If you're a little bit more flexible, blocks on the lowest setting. Elbows rest on the blocks. Dropping the head down, flexing the toes. Another option here, if your head feels really unsupported, taking the block to your thigh and letting your head rest down on the block. Great place for a pillow. If you have a pillow, place it right on top of your knee. But again, still working into the side on the right, the adductor, not the adductor, the erector. That big muscle along the spine. Beautiful. From here, slowly pressing back up onto the hands. Move the blocks to the top of your mat. And then just slide the left foot next to the right coming into Baddha Konasana. Now grab your blocks on a higher setting, place them underneath your knees, and then the hands come behind you. Spine lifted, pushing the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, 
Feel this opening through your inner thighs. If this level feels pretty good, you can stay. If you want more, take the blocks down to a lower level, allowing them to rest down, opening the hips even more. Pushing your feet together, arching your heart up to the sky, stretching now the adductors, your inner thighs. And when you're ready to release, spine comes back to neutral. Release the hands from the floor to grab the blocks. Now just cross the ankles, plant the hands on the floor, and then step back to a downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. From here, lift your left leg to the sky. And then step it forward in between your hands. Take your left knee down, grab your blocks, heel toe your left foot out. Coming into this lizard shape, untuck your toes, walking the blocks back. You can stay here on a higher setting or you can come down onto a lower setting. Elbows come down on the blocks, hips are sliding forward. Feeling an opening through the inside of the left leg, the front of the right. Allowing your head to be heavy, face be relaxed. And we'll be here for just a bit. So settling in. Really getting comfortable with being present in your body right now. And again, any distractions coming up, any of those urges to check your phone, check your email, pause the video, allowing yourself to come back to this time that you already carved out. So when you stepped onto the mat, you told yourself you were going to do something for you. So continuing to being true to that. Knowing that a lot of times we are more productive when we allow ourselves to take breaks, to take a step back. Let's take three more cycles of breath here. And when you are ready, pressing back up onto your hands, moving the blocks to a higher setting, lifting out of that stretch a little bit, heel towing your left foot in towards the center. We'll go back to that half splits as a transition, walk the hands back, one cycle of breath here. Folding forward over your left leg, reaching the crown of the head forward. And when you're ready, coming back forward, walking the blocks back with you. Now heel toe your left foot all the way over to the right, coming to pigeon pose. Walking the blocks down to a level that feels good for you. And again, you can either take forearms to the blocks. If you're feeling like you wanna rest the head, stacking the blocks one on top of the other, forearms on either side, and gently rest the head down on the blocks. Letting the shoulders be soft, flexing the left toes. Sinking into this stretch. And again, knowing that we're going to be here for a little while, really commit. So this is one of the reasons why we call it a practice, since we're always coming back to those same feelings. 
of bringing ourselves back to the current moment, of moving through the same poses. And even if you don't feel like you are seeing a tangible change, know that a change is happening every single time that you step on your mat. Let's take three more cycles of breath here. And when you are ready, pushing back up onto the hands, lean onto the left hip. Now slide your right leg forward, left foot to the inside of the right thigh, flex the right toes, slide your right hand down towards your right foot. So forearm on the shin, option to take the forearm down inside of the shin for a deeper stretch. Left arm reaches up and by the ear, stretching left fingers towards the right toes. So important here to lean back into this, squeeze the shoulder blades together, spread the fingers and feel that length in your left side body. Let's take three full cycles of breath here. So inhaling and exhaling. When you inhale, can you feel your lungs expand inside of your torso? And when you exhale, can you feel them deflate? Last breath here. When you're ready, coming back up, spine to neutral. Grab your blocks, place them on either side of your right knee. Now turn over towards your right leg. Take the forearms down on any setting. The box can be higher or lower depending on your flexibility. And then again, isometrically drawing the elbows back as you take the crown of the head forward. So this gentle stretch. Face is soft. Hands are soft. The front of the right leg is contracted. Take two more breaths here. And then when you, when you are ready, coming back up. This time we're gonna to move to another hip stretch. Keep your blocks close by. Take your feet in towards each other, cross your ankles, and then turn towards a long edge of your mat. We'll take a frog pose. So blocks, place them right at the edge of your mat, both like stacked one on top of the other. From here, take the knees wide Flex the feet and send the insides of the feet towards the floor. Hands are underneath the shoulders to start. You should feel a stretch through the inside of the thighs. You can stay here or you can come down onto your forearms and then rest your head on the blocks. So working into the inner thighs, the outer hips. Your hips are pressing back. Your spine is long. If your knees start to feel sensitive here or they hurt on the ground, you can roll the edges of the mat up or place a blanket underneath them. Feeling the breath flow in and out. Come 
coming back to notice the face. Can you soften the jaw, the forehead? Letting the belly drop down towards the floor, but only so much that you don't feel a crunching in the low back. Let's take five more deep breaths. Again, tuning back into that effortless ease of just being in this moment in time, feeling the stretch and feeling any sensation in the body. And noticing where you're holding resistance. So maybe you're resisting staying here, staying present. But coming back to that feeling that everything is temporary. We won't be here forever. So can you make the most of this stretch, of this pose, right here, right now? From here, slowly releasing your forehead from the blocks pressing back up onto your hands, and then take your toes together right into a wide-legged child's pose. So you can, again, rest your forehead on the blocks or maybe take the blocks underneath your chest, reaching your arms forward and letting your head just drop down towards the floor. Continuing to stretch the inner thighs, but a little bit more gently as we ease out of this stretch. Feeling the spine nice and long. Releasing any tension from the shoulders. And feeling your breath expand your lungs on the inhales. And on the exhales, can you really let go of anything that you're holding on to? And then when you're ready, slowly walking your hands back, removing the blocks, placing them over to the side sliding the knees together and then facing the top of your mat slide your feet in front of you let's come back to a forward fold grab your blocks once again you might only need one here so taking the block onto your thighs inhale to lift your arms and then exhale fold over your legs drop your head and then laying on the block perhaps you want to take the second block and lay the side of your face on the block. We'll hold this one for a couple more breaths than we did the first one. So if you have a pillow, great place to put a pillow here. Knees are softly bent. You can reach for your feet if you don't have them. Anywhere along the legs works, or you can just rest your arms by the side as well. So just feeling into what stretch your body wants.
Let's take five cycles of breath here. Eyes are closed. Drawing your senses inward, checking back in. Let's take the last breath together. Big breath into the belly. And big breath out of the mouth. Slowly rounding back up. Taking the blocks off to the side for a moment. Slide your hips a little bit farther forward and then slow and controlled roll onto your back. Grab one block. Let's find a supported bridge. Slide the block underneath your sacrum or your low back. So making sure it feels good here. You want it right at the base of the tailbone, supporting your pelvis. Feet are on the ground, hands by the sides or interlace the fingers underneath you. Roll a little bit farther onto your shoulders. So just allowing yourself to feel the support of the block underneath you. A little bit of opening through the heart, through the chest, through the belly. And coming back to that sense of softness. Let's take one more full breath here. And when you are ready, lifting off of that block, sliding it out from underneath you. Now take a block to either side. Take them by your hip creases. And from here, we're going to find a happy baby. So knees go wide, soles of the feet to the sky, and then have your blocks right underneath your thighs so that they can find a little bit of rest. So drawing your knees, your thighs down towards those blocks, soles of the feet up to the sky, and just holding here for a few moments. Continuing deep cycles of breath in and out through the nose. If you ever feel like you need a sighing release out of the mouth, go ahead and take it. Remembering that this is your practice. So anything that you need throughout class, allow yourself to take it. And then when you're ready, Slowly release, draw your knees into your chest. Let's take a Supta Baddha Konasana. So blocks go down to whatever setting feels good so that you can rest your knees on the blocks, soles of the feet together, knees wide. Take your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly. Let's just take three cycles of breath here. Feeling yourself supported by the mat and the blocks. Feel the rise and fall of your chest, of your belly. And then slowly releasing the hands, taking hold of the outsides of the thighs, gently pull the knees in towards each other. Now slide one block out of the way. Take the other one to the lowest setting, place it back underneath your sacrum. From here, we'll find a waterfall pose, lifting the feet up to the sky. 
Flex and point the toes a few times here. Your arms are just by your sides. So working into the backside of the legs. Maybe spread the toes out and then point them. And then coming to a still place and just holding. Our legs, our feet do so much for us. So this is a little release for them. We're draining the blood from the feet, from the calves, from the legs, back into the torso so that they can go through the heart, get more oxygen. We're also reversing the flow of gravity. So any stuck energy, any stuck tension has a chance to shift here. Maybe closing the eyes down. Let's take five cycles of breath here. Let's take the last breath together. Take a big breath in through the belly. And a big breath out, let it go. From here, bend into the knees. Take the feet back onto the floor. Remove the block to the side. And then from here, take the hands back to the sides. Take a supported Plow pose, so knees to the forehead, arms down, or hands supporting the hips. Whatever feels better for you. But knees stay at the forehead the whole time. Feeling this nice posterior chain stretch. Facing a little bit of pressure on your neck. That will actually help release some stuck tension. And when you are ready, slow and controlled, come back down. You'll find one final twist together. Dry your knees into your chest. Keep your right knee and take your left leg long. And then twist right knee over towards the left, gaze towards the right. Option here to grab a block and place it underneath your right knee for a little bit more support. Left hand can rest on the outside of the right thigh, and rather than just pulling the leg, just allow the weight of the hand to be a little bit re of resistance of adding a deeper stretch. And then when you're ready, coming through center and switching sides, you can move that block over to the left, pull your left knee into your chest, right leg goes long, and then twist left knee over to the right, gaze towards the left. Taking a few cycles of breath here. When you're ready to release, coming back to center, sliding that block out of the way. Option here to take Supta Baddha Konasana, knees rest on the block. If you want a full Shavasana, legs go out. Turn the toes out towards the sides of the mat. Turn the palms to face up, close the eyes. Take a moment to check back in. Noticing how you're feeling. Is there anything that you can let go? Maybe tension, resistance, holding on to anything, whether it's emotion, energy, or feeling. And allow yourself to just be still here. Let's clear a breath. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. 
allowing yourself to be here. You can pause the video right here and stay in your Shavasana. And when you're ready to come out, moving through your hands and your feet, sweeping your arms overhead for a full body stretch. And then rolling onto one side, push yourself back up into a seat. Keep the eyes closed, come to a seat that feels good and sustainable in your body. Draw your hands to your heart center. Roll your shoulders up by your ears and then melt them down your back. One final time to check in. Notice how you're feeling. And let's clear a final breath. Take your biggest breath into the belly. Holding for a moment at the top. And then exhale, sigh, <sighs> let it go. Hands travel to the forehead center. Together we say namaste. Beautiful work today. I hope you feel as good as I do right now. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.